hear the word and to uh, enjoy God's presence throughout this time. And I uh, pray that you will tighten our hearts and minds to hear what He has to say to us. Let's read from the Word of God, uh, from 1 Kings chapter 19. And the uh, story is in the entire chapter, but we'll read for time's sake from verses 9 to 14. Let's read responsibly verses 9 to verses 14 from chapter 19, first Kings. The word of God. Really responsibly. There he came to a cave and lodged in it. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the people of Israel have forsaken me from heaven, thrown down your altars, and killed the prophets with the sword. And I, you, I only, am left. And he said, Go out and stand on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke the pieces, the rocks, before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. The Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire, the sound of a low whisper. And when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak, and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the people of Israel have forsaken your covenant. Throw down your altars and kill your prophets with the sword. And now I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Amen. This is the word. As you live this life called the journey of faith, there are wonderful, beautiful seasons where you are so passionate for God and you just cannot withhold the joy of being in His presence. And maybe perhaps because of that, you're, you spend a lot of time in church and you want to serve Him in any way. You can go out to share the gospel, you go on a mission trip, and you are filled with the Holy Spirit. When there's a life, a period of our time when we are filled with the Spirit and everything is you know, all wonderful with God, there are all those other periods, the valley of the shadow of death, so to speak, when you don't feel God. When you feel desperate, and you're hungry, and you're thirsty, and you ask the question, why me, God? Why, God, do you bring me suffering in my life? And like the sermon title, maybe your prayer is, Lord, please, no more. I can't handle it anymore. I've served you. I am still serving you. But I'm tired, and I am broken. There are periods in our spiritual journeys uh, of, of suffering, of, of uh, difficulty, of um, uh, complaints to God even. I remember uh, reading from Mother Teresa's um, letter. In 1979, I believe, she wrote a letter. This is before she received the sainthood from the Catholic Church. She wrote a letter to a priest, um, you know, a mentor, I guess. And this is what she writes in her letter. She says, Jesus has a very special love for you, my father. For as for me, the silence and emptiness is so great that I look and do not see, listen and do not hear. The tongue moves in prayer but does not speak. There are times in our moment, in our life, when there is a darkness of our soul. And even Mother Teresa, who uh, sacrificed her entire life in Calcutta, India, for those uh, people in poverty, for the orphans, for the women. Even she went through this dark, dark time of the soul, and uh, she was burnt out. So we all burn out at some point. Imagine a uh, a lamp, an oil lamp, with a wick in it, and imagine the wick is lit on fire. As long as there is oil that burns itself, uh, the 
we are trapped in the oil world, or at least it is. And the power of the spirit will become dry. The wick starts to be burned. Burn. If we are burning on itself, our own we are trapped in the oil world, Holy Spirit. And the power of the spirit will not be burned, we experience that burnt out. We will be burnt out as well. If we are we are just ourselves. Our own uh, field, our own power, our own strength. Unless we have the Holy Spirit, we, we cannot that burn out of stage, experience the burnout. Burn That's who we are. We are just we. But the matter of fact is, we are our always filled with the Holy Spirit. We are, uh, we sometimes, unless we have the Holy Spirit, we, we cannot. And, uh, how can we overcome the burnout, burnout in ministry, burnouts in life? But the matter of fact is, we are always filled with the Holy Spirit. I think the first we solution are, is to so not understand that burnout. Tend to burn out. And uh, we how can we overcome the burnout? And also, our eyes and our hearts need to burn out. look into the Word of God to ask for His first, first solution. God, are there people in the Bible that have burnt out? Tend to burn their we are the free God. And, and also, our eyes and our hearts need to look into the Word of God to ask for His solution. God, are there people in the Bible who have been burnt out? Yes, we are in the Prophet and the Kings series of the Gospel of And last week we looked at. How Ahab, the King Ahab of Northern Israel, was involved in idolatry and Baal worship in the land, and, 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 and how Elijah fought. And the last week we looked at the how Ahab, the King Ahab of Northern we have Israel, on that was involved in idolatry, idolatry and, and Baal worship in the land, and, and, and how Elijah fought. Elijah, the false prophet, and the, the, great the struggle is the man. Today we kind of pause on that theme of idolatry and perhaps learn from this scripture. Today, more on what to do when we are down in our faith. And uh, the what struggle is the do? man of God when we, we experience a woman of the dark night of the soul. So and say. perhaps learn down the scripture in our what to faith. do when we are down to so so last week. Uh, Elijah what was on the Mount Carmel when, when we experienced um, God, the dark and, uh, night of the soul. So it's all this decisive victory, victory over our, the false prophets. Four to fifty. Just to rehash last week, Baal, uh, Elijah was on the Mount Carmel with uh, prophets. God, they were destroyed uh, because God showed the decisive victory, victory, victory over, over the false he prophets. Lit. Four to fifty. And, uh, and, uh, Baal worship drenched Baal altar. And four hundred. And Asherah was night and day. People knew that they were destroyed because God showed them the real God. Was, right? He showed up on the earth. He and all the other gods that uh, 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 not drenched the altar of God. And, and, and they, it was night and day. People in Asia would be very God. God of Israel was a true God. He's proven to the nation that he is a prophet. Other gods was false. He wanted to be God able to come to us in hand and hear. And also, when he prayed, the Lord prayed, would become very drop hinted. The drop down of his three year nation that all the prophets died, all the animals were suffering before, and God died. And when Elijah and prayed, also, when he prayed, prayed the Elijah was prayed, the drain did rain the drop that lasted blood. three years. Oh, all the crops died, all the uh, uh, animals were so suffering power and dying out. He is, and when is, Elijah is, prayed seven times, times, there was this you might have think rain, not just that rain, rain but of blood. So there were drenched on the end. And he showed you that the rain was very powerful. He is his prayer days when you make develop a novel. So you might have think or you write a book. Best seller, you become celebrity, because celebrity almost that should be you know, recognized by shared by the radios and you know, uh, with broadcast. These days, when you make uh, develop and, uh, a you know, people write about you and, and you get more money, write a book, you become best seller. You might think that Elijah with all status. the things you know, that God has not shared with all the and you know, uh, authority he has learned, and you want to write about a letter and that gets some money and you can fame. But the reality was the very you might think that Elijah with all. The things that God has done in his life with all the because when he had King Ahab heard, and the evil queen or just a celebrity, they status. saw that Elijah was the reality of the death of all, all, all their prophets. Was the prophets. They got really angry because they, when, when King Ahab she, and, and the evil queen just a moment ago, I they saw that, that when was Elijah was the cause of the death of all, <coughs> all their prophets. prophets. So it was a they real threat. Then so made it oh, uh, she made the news media. Just a little bit of you know, Elijah's Elijah picture you know, was there. It was Elijah, Elijah man, you know, by his by the government. So it was the Armenian, you know, military services. And, and, and so uh, the whole entire news media was like, you know, coming out of his picture that was there. He was a wanted man, threat, you know, by he's stopped by the government, with the army, and you know, military services and the police force. That is what the whole entire news of North Israel was like, in fact, coming after him, and he ran away. A real, so fast. Uh, you can never see him run. But if 
He ran it from Mount Carmel all the way down, 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 down the south, down. all the way down to a village down the way. Beersheba. So fast. And uh, they say it's worse. about 200 feet. He ran from Mount Carmel from all the way Carmel down, 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 down south. And Beersheba is like the very village city or village in the southern kingdom. And uh, so they say it's about 200 feet from, 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 from Mount Carmel or if you want to. And Beersheba is like the very southern city or village in the southern kingdom. So it's just like he ran down this distance. And we or, did not stop at Beersheba walk or ride a uh, animal uh, that I served him are dragging me down. I need more speed on to get him out of here. They just like yeah, uh, leave, leave his servants. Service. At Beersheba he goes. We did not stop at Beersheba. He thought my servants are dragging me down. And that's where we're going to break it up to get out of here. In fact, this morning he leaves his servants. At Beersheba he goes. This imminent threat of this country that he had just ministered to him. And, and that's where we're going to have to break it up. This, this line back. Why did he really run? Was he really afraid of his fled <laughs> from this Why imminent threat of this country that he had just been in? Verse 4, we find Elijah and under what would happen to this. Uh, Elijah. We have Why those verses. Really Was he really afraid of his to So this he is, we find Elijah he, under this juniper tree. In, in verse 4, we find Elijah under, and uh, you might think, you know, this is a shade. We have those verses. He's comfortable, like, in terms Dry so place he is she finds Elijah so under this this is not tree, your typical room tree, 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 like temple tree we see. Uh, you might think it's more like a, a tree that's about three feet. Dry place when you're in the shade. Like, it's not that tall. It's really cool. And uh, this, this tree is not like your like typical the leaves of just like room tree. Like tree. Like tree. Like tree. Like tree. We see. Don't have any leaves. So it can be more like a little shade. A tree that's about three feet. But wonder why did Elijah? It's not that tall. Sit at this. And this tree is like the leaves of just a room tree. It doesn't have many leaves. Well, if you so were to imagine a little shade, shade that this tree and there's was no shade, shade why would Elijah, Elijah, you would look at like even the smallest shade, shade, whatever you can find. Well, like a, because of it, it's such is why is it so tired and Well, if you were in the desert, if you were in the wilderness, and there's no shade whatsoever, you think of the root of for even the smallest shade, whatever you can find. Because of it, it's such is this is so it was tired, exhausted, it was just a beautiful he was under whatever whatever and that was a this child that could find you think of desperate tree or the tree, 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 tree as you know a spiritual right did place. Elijah really was not that big. all the way it was, was just a pitiful small tree, small tree or whatever. It was it really because it was fearful and the most desperate because of the imminent situation of the entire nation? Why is that Elijah be one reason? But we read from verse 4 in, word, in his word, prayers word, to God. Was it really because he was fearful of this? Because of the innocence of this? He says, it is enough. Yes, that now would be one reason. Take by me to read from from verse 4 I am no in his prayers to God. What was why he ran all this way? He says, this, this, he this says part. it is Lord, enough. It's enough now, Lord. I've done it all for you. away my life. I've suffered. I am no I've done everything you told me to do. He... That we can sense the bitterness in the heart. One. Lord, it's enough. I'm not strong. That's strong. I've, I've done enough for them. All my ancestors. I've suffered. People I've done everything they told me to do. Joshua. I'm no better than them. I'm just a, a man. I've had I enough. More. I want to stop. No more. I'm not God. strong. That's strong. God. I'm no better than people. All my ancestors. People of faith like Abraham, Moses, and Joshua. So I'm no better than them. I'm just a man. I've had enough. Lord. I want to stop. No more. From the military attack, and he was experiencing the king a burnt out stage. He was running away from God. So the reason he, he ran away from God, he, was he says, I have not just to save his skin. This was the military attack, ultimate the reason attack of the king. And uh, the reason that he, he was running away from God. He was running away from God's work. He was burnt out. It was he because says, he was experiencing a downcast. In this his was the, the jealous reason. Jealous and Elijah, the reason that he was a pitiful man under this broom tree, he is it was because he was experiencing a downcast ministry. Right? That, the uh, jealous, the zealous, he was pleading Elijah in order to find him a pitiful man under this broom tree. tree. He Just is regretting his life. Regretting the grace of God is shown in this story, which we read this many times. Verse 5 and 6 was 5 6 7 tells us that suddenly he was awoken by a person. A messenger of God. But the grace of God and we all got this story as we read this many times. Verse 5 and 6. 5, 6 and 7 tells us that that was cooked. Only he was woken by a turtle. A messenger of God of water. And when we woke up, God says, 
this uh, bread. Right? This is too uh, much bread. Burn, uh, this bread that was cooked over with the uh, baked food or that he needed. And charcoal. Uh, and uh, there was a lot of water. He's and the uh, angel of God says, Arise! Once again, the angel of the Lord shakes him up. You. Says, no, he, yes. he is provided with God. There's a purpose that he is needed. And uh, he, he was does hire. He, he, he does, does go on. Again. Okay. Once again, the That's angel the Lord of the Lord shakes him up. Says, no, you must eat. What would God do with this Elijah whose was battery was all and just drained down? He does eat. Eat. How, would, uh, would Elijah go on? Be okay. recovered? Would there be any hope for this Elijah now? It's, what would uh, God do to find out this Elijah whose battery was all just drained out? And uh, it turns out, how, he would Elijah he needed to be recovered? Would there be any hope for this Elijah now? We find that it's, it's, uh, we find out in the next section. Oh, to go or even set more south. And uh, all of the turns out that he needed, he needed a spring, spring place. He needed a physical spring where he landed to was to he came to. We find out it took him 40 days. The like, historic place to where set more the south. Israelites all came the down to, to a very where place. Moses, the leader of the Israelites, he landed to. Had received the Ten Commandments. Commandments. Had received the law. The book of the Lord. place where the Israelites became a place where God's presence was. Where Moses, the leader of the Israelites, God days, showed up. Had received the Ten Commandments. Commandments. Had received the law, the book of the law. You would think on Elijah would be grateful. It was the place where God's God presence me was. It's so far and I'm not surely center. God showed up. You at this holy All that happened. I don't, whatever I said, other than me, I'm just you think that you're Elijah would be grateful by supporting this line. Support God and let me hear this so far. I'm not surely in center. In verse 10. You, his heart has not All that changed. happened. I don't, whatever I said, other than me, I'm just thankful that you're. He said, I have been very jealous for you for the Lord. But we God find knows, for the people of Israel have ten, forsaken his heart has not changed. thrown down your altars and killed your prophets. In verse 10 with the sword. And I, I have only been very jealous for you. My life will take it away. I am the only people in the person of God that has left in this entire thrown down, down your altars. And, and my, my, even my life with the sword. And I, I even I only am left. And they seek my life to take it away. I am the only person of God that was complaining to God. Kingdom of the Israel. And my, even my life. God it is, um, what would God do to just, God, why are you doing to me? Comfort is better than what was burned out there. He was complaining to God when he felt the presence of God most of the mountains. God, oh, God, just like maybe in the old days when oh, Moses, Moses, God showed up with Moses and how was God to see the back of God this Elijah when he was passing by and God, the work of God, covered him uh, while there was many things happens, right? God, this just like we need to Moses, God showed up in Elijah, Moses, and God was able to see the power of God, God, God when he was passing by, and God, God and the power of was this uh, under the great powerful wind. This would be a moment of revelation to Elijah, Elijah who God was, and Elijah was to blind God in the things that were about to happen. First thing that was this great part was even more powerful than any of the hurricane, any category of hurricane of the universe. Because in uh, verse 11, he says, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Wind was the Lord are passed by in a great and strong wind category for the mountains. And a rope in the verses of the box before the Lord. He says, Go out and stand on the mountain wind before the Lord. And behold, the Lord are passed by in a great and strong wind for the mountains. And broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. We know that winds and hurricanes and tornadoes that can ripple apart, but it says that will not be the truth. And the second thing it shows us was that this tremble in the earth and fire break. I believe the most such a powerful wind we see here. Powerful. But it says that was not a dangerous natural phenomenon. And the second thing it shows us was this tremble in the earth and fire. And I believe the most lava coming from a fire coming out from the ground. People Powerful. can be covered with and the most dangerous it's natural phenomenon in those few ones and one are earth. Ground is trembling the whole earth is leaking and such uh, a made a lot of from fire to Maybe even God showed that kind of power and that kind of kind of uh, uh, death is there. A lot of fumes and it was like, ground is trembling, the whole so earth is leaking and such a made a amazing power. Maybe even God showed that kind of power and God. that kind of uh, for him to visible hear this and I mean, that's of God is awesome. because it wasn't such a big sound. It wasn't such a uh, attentive sound that you you could you know and catch God God told it was a small whisper, whispering sound. It was a key that he was. And for some reason, when this whisper, so he heard a Elijah was changed. He heard the voice of God. 
you know, for him Elijah. to hear this voice, he had to pay attention because it was confronting God. A big and sound. God it wasn't such a uh, a God gave Elijah, Elijah a chance to speak. catch immediately, make your case. It was a small. And once again, we find that, that Elijah is still and for some reason when this whisper happens. to God. The verses that we read, Elijah, verse fourteen. Let's go back to fourteen. I have been very jealous for the Lord to God. Elijah, for the people of Israel have forsaken your command, covenant, was confronting your God, God as God was kind of speaking to him. I, but God gave Elijah the first chance to speak my life to make your case. Away. And once again, we find that he's still, Elijah is still, well, after seeing all the wonders of God, God after seeing the amazing the power of God, God, this was not just any natural phenomenon. That he I have been very jealous for the wind, the Lord, fire, for the people of Israel have forsaken your command. How after all, throw down your altar and kill your prophets with the Lord, and I and I only am left, and they steal my life to take it. I've been jealous for you. Like, Copy and paste. Right. He's still there's no recovery. But, there's after no seeing all the wonders of God, after seeing the amazing power of God, God this was not God just any natural phenomenon. That yet God, God said, the wind, the fire, and the earth. Verses Great. 15 to 18, we have read, we have read these verses. Man. But in a nutshell, God is saying, God tells Elijah that, I want you to start new leadership in three I'm jealous for you. I want you to set up a new king for the kingdom of Israel. There's no, there's no, there's no problem. Problem. Damascus. Uh, and uh, his name shall be in the house of Israel, and you shall set him up as God said, change your neighboring country. Verses 15 to 18, we have a verse 15, but in a nutshell, God is saying, the current king is Elijah, that I want you to start a new leadership in three years. Verses 16 to 18, we have a verse 15, but in a nutshell, God is saying, 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 my prophet, a neighboring country, a powerful country. It was just that you go on further, and the way the next place is revealed, the current king is King Ahab. But uh, but, uh, the project that God has been pursuing, the project of ridding the country of Baal worship, will continue through the line. line. Three Peter Elijah, but I and you, you, you say you're the only person of God. You're the only prophet that's left. I'm the only prophet. But I have. 7, and, and he goes on further. God tells yeah, him, explains to reveal to him Baal, who that do not bow their The project that God has been pursuing for, the project of Baal. ridding the and country of Baal, Baal worship, will continue through against mine with uh, three people. Uh, uh, and you, you say you're the only person of God. You're the only prophet that has a problem that I am the only one. He only can see himself. You know, I've done this, I've done that, but I have not. And I'm the only person that failed. Who do, not are, uh, who do not Who do not kneel before our soul? Baal. Our, our vision and God soul. was giving. And well, God was giving here as he was speaking what in the voice. Uh, 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 was to show uh, him the bigger picture. See, just like so when you go somewhere, from that, that, that was his world. He was thinking of seeing the airport. You know, I've done this, I've done that, but I failed. And we only saw the ground that we are living in. But um, now you see a bigger and bigger, so bigger picture. Bigger God was showing what God was doing here as a bigger picture of what God was doing was to show him the bigger the masters, just like that when you go somewhere from what he was going to do for the airship. You know, how there were 7,000 feet farther and farther, higher and higher up in elevation. You only saw the ground that you're this was the living in. But now you see a bigger and bigger and bigger picture of the entire area. God you know, was showing this Elijah the it bigger was, picture tremendous of what God was doing in the country of Aaron like like Damascus, what he was going to do in um, northern Israel, the work of what he was going to do for Israel. Israel. And how there were 7,000 feet like that, that he does not know, fiery chariot. He was faithful. This was the answer. Now at this point, we want to kind of uh, track and back in our, our stories and ask the first was, question that we asked this morning. How can we change for Elijah? Be comfort. It was never perfect. When we are now finished in the work of God, until we find two lessons from our... our in fact, we don't know how we God took him away in a fiery chariot. First is, he was faithful. We need the comfort. Now at this point, we want to repeat kind of uh, try back in our, on our story the comfort and ask the first question that we asked this morning. How can we be comforted support when we are down to God and our faith into our life? If I think about it, our entire lives, all your lives this morning, was, is, is a promise of, of we God's need the comfort vision for everything. Would you repeat after everything you eat, everything you drink, the comfort of education you receive, or, you know, your, the, the, your maturity is all a result of God's 
giving you some things through. that God has brought <laughs> some person around. So think blessing. about it, our entire God, life, fact, this life. is a promise of God. Well, it is, is a promise of God. First time, Paul provisioned for everything that in your life. life. Everything, you've eaten, everything, you've drank, everything you've eaten, everything you've drank, every, every education you received, uh, you know, your, the, 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 your maturity is all the result in of God's God. giving you something That's through first time. some person of God. You agree to some blessing of God. Of God. In of fact, God's this provision. is a promise of God in the Hebrews yeah. reading Philippians chapter 4. There first time, Paul Paul says it as verse 9 this week. Actually, let me look at it. I don't know how to talk on this. Let's write that. Okay, right. Let's read together. Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Actually, we we'll to look at my God and glorify every need of your first time. According to his riches, the glory and rise of Jesus. Let's do it one more time. Of God's and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches. Glory in the New Testament. Verse 19. Rich. Verse 19. We don't have a PowerPoint on this. Okay, ready? Let's read together. chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours. He will provide us his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Let's do it one more time. And my God, God will supply every promise. need of yours promise. according promise. to his riches. God indeed had provided for Elijah and his God. God. Indeed, God used Elijah to provide for others. That's cool. That's we have not things. looked at this passage in preaching, but right before <laughs> this story, we find he will provide widow according to all his riches. Of uh, Zerah's promise of God. Who not a was going to do this three years out. Promise. God. And uh, the God was indeed, had had she and her son were decided to, to die. Right. Right. Indeed, have God food. used Elijah God to provide for others. Elijah to them. To we have not looked at this passage in preaching, preaching, but right before God, Elijah, story, remember, we well, find he got his widow himself to provide uh, Sarah back. And just a couple of days ago, we heard that her sprout child and the messenger of God. She and her son were decided to die because they didn't have food. And God sent life to come all this way. Elijah. We also remember that for their Jesus. Needs. When he was teaching to the five thousand, and it was Elijah getting very well. How it was God getting dark. Himself. And the disciples said, Send them away. Send these people just a, away. A couple of days ago, you know, they reversed this. But how the village is a messenger of God, the angel of God, and provided for the disciples. He needs you, meat, and water to sustain what? his life. We can't hold five thousand, probably ten thousand people. We also remember that. And Jesus. we, when he was Remember teaching to the five thousand, and it was finally late. late. It was getting and dark, Jesus, and, and the disciples and used this as Send them away. Send these people, people away for the physical, physical food, food, the neighboring, the eating, the, the, the hunger, to with what their mouths and just said to the disciples, their stomachs. You would eat. With what? Well, we must remember that the five thousand, ten thousand people gathered there. And we remember the famous story of the miracle of five loaves and two fish, right? And Jesus fed them. And, and he used his church for the same to so provide for the physical needs, the eating needs, the hunger, to sweat their mouths and to fulfill their It's not because we are better than them or we have the resources from the story that God provides. It's a reflection of who God is. God provided for our every physical need. Through his and as we people. serve these people in the kitchen, maybe that's why the churches and mission organizations, it is a reflection of the God, all of that bear. We do this because God needs to the Lord to free. It's not because we are better than them. When we have the resources and we just provide good things to do, and we do it's a reflection of the God. reflection of God provided for our every physical need. Last summer, as a summer, as we went to the bottom of the mission kitchen, I was so blessed to see some of our ministers. It is a reflection of what they saw, saying that we do this because God did this. They could not sustain us. We don't get for that. A mold from the center. They wanted once in a while, once a year, to provide for them. And we turn as a reflection of God. We're more ready and prepared to. And last time we were spiritual, we went to the bottom of our table. Because that's what God does. He uses his saints to provide for the burned out people. Physically, people live in souls of God to do this. They could not put a place to put on the for that evening. Let they us serve each other with some food and with love. And this and is something sure that we will come up with to God and come more, more um, ready and prepared to not only meet their spiritual needs, but their physical needs as well. Because that's what God does. He uses His when saints to provide for the burnt out people uh, physically. <laughs> it's it's also okay about God, but looking back. So brothers and sisters. Anyway, um, I was the same Let us serve each other with single. It's not that I didn't have something that money. God does to us. 
body. Oh, yeah. uh, it was hard to get good food. Um, I remember, I don't know what that means. Not, too, well, not that you have the money, so but I was you can't simple. really make jinjang um, chicken miserable when you're living together with other students. Okay. It's, it was okay for us. You can't have kimchi. Yeah. And, you can't have a decent. Anyway, um, um, all the secondary school, so, uh, single uh, married couple. couple. It's not that I didn't have where I was that money. They invited us single, but uh, every Wednesday it was hard to get we had this big feast. You know, single, we enjoyed our sweet meat. Not that you don't have the money, but you can't really make jinjang chicken. It was about like when you're living together with other students, they take turns to. You can't have kimchi and can't have a decent. Because of the family style, only people. So you can't have kimchi. So remember the married couple. It's not that I didn't have where I was that money. They invited us single. Not that you don't have the money, but you can't really make jinjang chicken. It was about like when you're living together with other students, they take turns to. You can't have kimchi and can't have a decent. Because of the family style, only people. So remember the married couple. It's not that I didn't have where I was that money. They invited us single. For every Wednesday night. Last we had this big feast meeting on Monday. We enjoyed ourselves. We ate a lot. I heard from the, they didn't come really just to care for us. That show was about like 20 of us. Young adult industry says they, they took turns to take care of us. Every kids. Friday they and uh, around. because of the support of oh, that thing. So people come out here for, you know, to provide our pastor to the big feast. And so uh, uh, maybe this is an opportunity, opportunity for you to uh, uh, become the angel of God. Last uh, 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 leaders uh, meeting on Monday, you know, some of you were here. I heard from my well, kids, so, you know, my staff, but my young adult is hungry. The young people are hungry. Uh, every Friday they mm -hmm. gather around. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> was asking for people. And this is a way that God provides for my sister. Maybe this sometimes, yes, he sends. Maybe this is rarely he sends you. Manna from the angel of God. And, 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 and water, water from the rock. Or, you know, but more or often than not, he uses his sage to comfort, to encourage the hungry people who are there for food. We need more than that to get out of this uh, <laughs> spiritual, spiritual. And this is a way that God provides me. Not only do we need sometimes yes, he sends very rarely vision, man of the saints. But secondly, how can we get out of this spiritual? spiritual but, uh, more often than not, he uses his saints to. The second is we need the quiet encourage. We need the quiet word of God. Let's say it together. We need. But we need more than that to get out of this spiritual. 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 I'm taking this directly off from scripture. Not only do we need the physical yes. food uh, can comfort us from the saints. Maybe that's what you can we get, get out of the spiritual and comfort food and uh, the comfort and the super so it does good to us. Second is we need spring ideas and comfort of us, but we cannot let's say it together. We need the quiet word. It cannot comfort and strengthen. I'm taking this directly out from scripture. We need something more than that. In fact, Yes, even food uh, can search for a prayer. Even a mighty work, work that is so eminent in our lives cannot be. Food does good to our body. Uh, it does strengthen us and comfort us. us. But it cannot stress faith that one might experience. There's only one thing it cannot that cannot revive, revive strength, vitalize faith that is down. down cast. Cast. We need something faith. more than that. In fact, even our answer to our prayer, even a mighty work that is so eminent in our lives, Cannot be. It could. It's oh, not. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Or it might be like a revival. You know, so uh, for the a lot of distress, distress, you know, faith that, you know, that one might experience. There's only one thing that, that can revive and vitalize the, God the downcast. Because faith. for Elijah, it may be something different. Just like God is trying to tell us, I'm gonna die. You know, I have had it. I have no it, I find no meaning. It doesn't have to be dramatic. It won't be like a revival, you know, of because it was the Holy Spirit just, jealous, you know, for God and he sees no way coming out from it. It could just, just be a small voice in the moment he was disappointed. But he had a high expectation for God. Because and for so Elijah, it made a tremendous difference for him. He said, But when God I'm gonna die, God, I have had enough. God. I have no I find no meaning God in God. what I what you're doing. And I'm just small playing a small part because it was so Jealous because for God, and he sees no result coming out from it. Is is they don't have difference for him. He was disappointed. He had a high expectation for God. He had another assignment, so he was highly disappointed that he did. Was to set up the people of God for the next phase of God's ministry. When he heard that there were seven thousand other people of God, so that's just like you're doing. And I'm playing a small part. You see, he had this outcome in his mind. May if I defeat the false worshippers, the male worshippers, the whole nation would have repented. He had another assignment. And this would be a Christian nation God. or a God here in nation. It was to set up the people of God for the next phase of God's ministry. As when he heard, the he heard that there were 7,000 other people, people of God, God. just like his, it is an expectation of what God You see, he had this all possible because outcomes of the voice clear by the specific worshippers, the male worshippers. 
the whole nation would have repented. Not only Israel, but would be a Christian nation or and among God fears the nation of Israel when he heard this. He was able to but the he issue heard the voice of God. He even in the most driest, most difficult is expectation is what God made to. He was able to finish the gospel because he heard the voice of God clear voice, brothers and sisters. The specific things that God would do in the nation's life. Not only Israel, but internationally and among the uh, 7,000 people when he had from this, he was able to finish the work, work. even in the most driest, most difficult quiet, uh, wilderness of faith. Here. He was able to finish the race. And all of that started. Let us hear God's word in quiet. All that started from Ace. In your bulletins, we write down the five time verses, passages for each day of this week. How can we? I want you to get out, maximize that, use that as much as you can. The dark night of Use the time of a tool to hear God's voice for you to fight. And hear His voice, His whisper. If Jesus had to spend His quiet let us hear God's word, not quiet. How much more do we In your bulletins, we write down the five we hear in verses, passages for each day of this week. In day How are you to, and you know, maximize that, use that as much as you can. It is a time of love. It is a time of love. It is a time, of, a time, a time to hear and God's and voice for you. Grow in the Lord. Today. It is a time when we and hear the, directions and instructions of how we can hear Jesus had to say his quiet time more each day too. And as we live, how much hearing his voice each day, we will to hear his voice through to not be wilderness in a daily life now in ministry in particular. It is a time of loving. Should we it is a time here when we grow in the Lord. It is a time when we hear directions and instructions of how we are not all the of the Lord. That's what I mean. And, and as we actively seek out hearing God's voice each day, we don't go we to Mount the whole rest of the Lord. We are so weak sometimes that God has we need the angel of God encouraging us. Are there people There's around you? Should maybe, in small maybe in your small here, maybe in your communities, even not at our church, who have this hunger for God. You know, they're they are not all they, their souls are darkened and they have we no don't faith in that. Maybe there was faith before, but now it's so we don't go to Mount Horus to listen to us. We are so weak sometimes. What is our responsibility? We need the angel of God encouraging us. Are there people around to encourage them? Maybe in your small group, maybe in your communities, even not at our church, who have this hunger for God. You know, they're burnt out this hour. They, their souls are darkened and they have little faith left. Maybe there was faith before, but now it's so dried up, like sand. And in this class, what is our responsibility? And we're meeting outside, we're being outside to share to what God covers them, to lead them, what God can do of the work. And as we are drenched in the soul, we have the encouraged one another to into this on Earth Day after this It is the only way we do uncover it and be not from the, from the stress of our life. <laughs> and also, we don't think we want to go in the outside, in the nature, in the whole world of this earth. So this is the last one. To, and, and we're meeting outside, we're meeting outside to share what God has done in our lives, what God can do in our lives. And as we are drenched in this word, as we encourage one another into this word, it is the only way we can recover and be not burnt out from the stress of our life and also to continue on to the, in the ministry. Brothers and sisters, let us seek to hear his voice. Let us seek to lead others to hear the word of God.